Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. And I'm Jill Sperling. It is Friday, June 21st. It is summer. It is hot. Of course, Officially we need to be summer. Yeah, we need to be aware of wildfire danger as that's oh, increasing. Yeah. Did I you hear have, we're going to get high 90s this weekend, yes. which is a little hot for Washington. Yeah. You, do you like the hot weather or cold weather usually? I I like the springtime weather, the fall yeah. weather, something oh, I don't in like between. Spring those allergies, but I'm oh. glad those are finally <laughs> over and we're now in summer. And we'll check on our summer forecast temperatures now with our meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, what are we going to be seeing today? Today, we're looking at the 90s. Tomorrow, like you mentioned, upper 90s. So it is gonna be hot for this area for this time of year. And we should stay below those record levels, which is good news. Right now, we're starting off in the 50s area-wide. 53 in Tri-Cities, 58 in Walla Walla, 57 in Dayton, 55 in Toppenish, and 51 in Yakima. If you wanna get in that early morning workout, now is the time to do it while these temperatures are still pretty comfortable. Your morning commute looking pretty good. Lots of sunshine. Grab the sunglasses before heading out. 94 this evening, so that AC will be pumping. And if you need to mow the lawn, you're going to be sweating it out this evening with temperatures in the 90s and then dropping into the upper 80s by 8 o'clock. If it were me, I would wait until Monday. If you can wait, I think Monday is going to be one of the cooler days out of the next seven. Do you remember last weekend when we had unseasonally cool weather, highs in the 60s and 70s? Well, what a difference a week makes because this weekend we're talking about highs in the 80s and 90s. So we'll talk about how close we'll get to those record levels and we'll have that seven day forecast coming up. Jill and Jessica, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. We begin with a crash that closed the Blue Bridge uh, to northbound traffic for hours overnight. The crash happened just after 9 p.m. Washington State Patrol is investigating the crash, which happened shortly again after 9 p.m. And officials say a car struck a semi. The driver of the car, a 25 year old man from Pasco, was not hurt, but two children in the car, aged four and six years old, were taken to the hospital. The driver of the semi was not hurt, and the roadway has since been reopened. WSP says they believe drugs or alcohol were involved in the crash, and charges are pending for the driver of the car. Are. Developing news of a fire investigation, so take a look at this. Yakima Fire responded to a call for help from the Yakima Greenway around 1.30 yesterday afternoon. It's not clear how the fire started, but firefighters say it is suspicious. The flames came close to the brand new visitor center at Sarge Hubbard Park that opened last fall. Nearly two months after a fire broke out at the Lineage Cold Storage Warehouse in Finley, the company says that fire is fully extinguished. The company sent Apple Valley News Now a statement saying, quote, as a result of the significant progress and debris removal made in continuous firefighting in collaboration with the Bend County Fire District, our teams on the ground were able to access the remaining hotspots and put out the fire. The Ben Franklin Health District says there are now concerns or there may be E. coli or other toxins in the water, so they are taking action. There are multiple contaminants that we would look at. We really don't know at this point what we're looking for, and so we're going to start with sort of a, a shotgun approach, for lack of a better term, where we would look at both potential for bacterial contaminants to get into the groundwater and other contaminants like heavy metals, PFAS. Um, we really have to just start testing for a lot of things. Lineage says cleanup efforts are expected to continue for several more weeks. Even though the fire is out, you may still need to replace your air filters since they've been working overtime to deal with smoke up until now. The Ben Franklin Health District will be giving out new air filters and N95 masks to people impacted by the Lineage Warehouse fire. That giveaway is happening this evening from 6 to 8 at Riverview High School. Also starting today, the Department of Natural Resources is banning dispersed campfires on state lands in the southeast region. Campfires will still be allowed in approved designated campgrounds, but not out in the wilderness. DNR officials say upcoming hot, dry summer weather is increasing fire danger at a time when multiple wildfires are actually burning in the re region. The region covers 16 counties, including Benton, Franklin, Walla Walla, Kittitas, and Yakima counties. If you violate the ban, you could face fines or more if you end up starting a wildfire.
Washington DNR has a responsibility that the legislature has imposed on us to attempt to recover the costs associated with those wildland fires. So ultimately, if you are the spark that starts one of those uh, wildland fires, you could be held uh, financially accountable and potentially criminally accountable. DNR officials say people recreating on state lands will still be allowed to use propane or butane camp stoves and backpacking stoves. Work has begun for a new fire station in Walla Walla. Walla Walla County Fire District 8 posted this picture on Facebook saying ground site preparations are underway for Station 82. They're still waiting for final approval from the county planning department for the building permit. The district has been in a leased building on the east end of Walla Walla for years while it planned and budgeted for the new station and it'll be located at 211 Mill Creek Road. Over in Afreda, local leaders held a groundbreaking ceremony for the new Grant County Jail. The project budget is $155.5 million. Construction is expected to take two years. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, scientists are studying a gene mutation they say could explain why some people are more prone to obesity. We have what they found coming up in your health headlines. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens. They're lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is. Accept my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Sorry, you've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Hey, hey, Tri-Cities. It's Eric the Peanut Guy with your Tri-City Dust Devils. I never thought I'd say this, but Friday, June 21st, the first 500 fans will receive Eric the Peanut Guy replica socks. Come rock your socks off. It's also Family Feast Night with $2 hot dogs, soft drinks, and more, both thanks to Giza Credit Union. Saturday the 22nd, we'll have a post-game fireworks show thanks to Columbia Basin Hearing Center. Visit the official ticket site at DustDevilsBaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball, it will blow you away. Hard work, perseverance, courage. These are the attributes of a champion. A lifetime of success starts here at the Children's Developmental Center. Every child needs a champion. Support our mission of empowering families and improving children's lives. Join us for our fundraiser, Summer Cuisine at Terra Blanca, presented by Country Financial. Will you be one of our champions? Chill or grill on a new deck from PAR this season. Get a free Makita Bluetooth radio or portable pellet grill with a qualifying PAR deck package purchase of wood, timber tech, or treks. Visit PAR.com for details. PAR, go where the builders go. What are you going to build? This newscast sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In your health headlines, there's been a trend of rising maternal mortality rates in the U.S. for decades. But this morning, there's some hopeful news for pregnant women with rates actually decreasing in 2022. With more, here's ABC's M. Wynn. There may be some hopeful new data out of the CDC regarding maternal deaths in the country. The CDC's National Center for Health Statistics released a report showing the maternal mortality rate decreased in 2022. The total number of maternal deaths in the U.S. was 817 in 2022, which significantly decreased from 1,205 deaths in 2021. 
But some experts are saying the difference is likely related to the COVID-19 pandemic and that rates are quite similar to pre-pandemic levels in 2019. And while there was a decrease in maternal mortality rates among Black, White and Hispanic women, Black women still had a much higher rate compared to other races. Also, older women are still at higher risk for death. The report showed that women aged 40 or older had a maternal mortality rate six times higher than the rate for women younger than age 25. Although maternal deaths in the country are reducing, a lot of work needs to be done to ensure childbirth is a safe experience for everyone. With this Medical Minute, I'm M. Wynn. Scientists are studying a genetic mutation that may hold an explanation as to why some people are more prone to obesity. They looked at people with two faulty copies of a particular gene. It's called SMIM1. The mutations decrease the function of the thyroid and decline energy expenditure. That means people with them will gain more fat with the same amount of food intake as someone with normal copies. Women with the mutation weigh on average 10 pounds more and men 5 pounds more. Even though it explains why some people are genetically more likely to store fat, it still doesn't apply to most overweight people. Only 1 in 5,000 people carry this genetic mutation. The FDA has approved the first gene therapy for people with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The genetic disorder makes muscles progressively weaker and can prevent a child from being able to walk. Last year, the drug Elevitis was uh, approved for four and five year old children with the muscle weakening disease. And uh, yesterday, the FDA said any patient over the age of four with the disease and a specific gene mutation could take the drug. The FDA says it's too soon to determine if it's safe for children under four years old. The one-time intravenous infusion from Sarepta Therapeutics costs roughly $3.2 million. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, luxury car maker Bugatti is the latest to join the hybrid car market. We'll take a look at the specs of the new Bugatti. But first, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full forecast. We'll be right back. The 4th of July sale at Furniture Row is on now, and the savings are explosive. Best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, or five years, no interest financing. The 4th of July sale, on now at Furniture Row. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Audiologist Jennifer Wright is now caring for patients of all ages at Prosser Ear, Nose, and Throat Center. Her services include audiological evaluations, hearing aid fittings, pediatric testing, cochlear implants, and more. The effects of hearing loss can often be minimized with the correct diagnoses and proper treatment. To schedule an appointment with audiologist Jennifer Wright, call Prosser Ear, Nose, and Throat Center at 509-786-5599 today. This is how we care. Celebrate Independence Day the Tri-Cities way. The River of Fire Festival is back Thursday, July 4th. It's a blast with something for everyone. Free admission and free parking. Kid Zone. Kid Zone. Food Truck Alley plus live music on two stages. Park entrance closes at 9 p.m. And the legendary River of Fire fireworks show starts at 10. The River of Fire presented by Giza Credit Union and these sponsors. The annual River of Fire 2024, Thursday, July 4th. The 4th of July sale at Furniture Row is on now, and the savings are explosive. Best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, or five years, no interest financing. The 4th of July sale, on now at Furniture Row. Apple Valley News Now, recently honored by the Society of Professional Journalists with first place awards for general excellence, breaking news, health reporting, and video series. We all like awards. Our mission is to serve you with news that gets results. We are Apple Valley News Now on your side. Don't walk, run, as Live with Kelly and Mark are Emmy winners for Best Daytime Talk Series host. Next Live, John Stamos plus Heidi Gardner. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam. It all happens July 13th and 14th at John Dam Plaza. 
From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is a beautiful start to your Friday morning as we take a live look out of our Legends Casino Hotel Sky Cam overlooking Richland there. The water pretty quiet and it's going to be a beautiful day. Maybe if you have the day off and you're doing some boating, the weather is going to cooperate. It's just going to be a hot summer day. Temperatures this morning feeling pretty nice out there. So if you're getting ready to walk the dog, temperatures are hovering in the low and middle 50s. 53 in the Tri-Cities, 52 Connell, 58 in Walla Walla, 51 in Yakima, and 55 degrees in Toppenish. If you want to get that workout done outside, now is the time to do it because temperatures are going to warm pretty quickly in the coming hours. Winds are on the light side out of the north today, anywhere between 2 and about 10 miles per hour this morning and they'll stay within that range throughout the day today. High temperatures expected to climb into the low and middle 90s, similar to what we saw yesterday in Tri-Cities and Hermiston, 94 in both of those cities, 92 in Prosser, 92 in Yakima, and finally along the foothills of the Blues, we should make it into the 90s in most locations, 92 in Walla Walla, 90 degrees in Pendleton. If you're headed out to Giza Stadium in Pasco, well, prepare for the heat as the Dust Devils take on the Canadians. Hopefully they can continue their winning streak after winning yesterday. Yesterday, 92 degrees at 7. You'll need the sunglasses for sure. And temperatures will only be dropping into the lower 80s as we get closer to sunset. And the wind will clearly not be an issue out of the north and northeast. 5 to 10 miles per hour, and it's not going to cool you off, unfortunately. Now, this evening, we will see some mid and high level clouds move in, and they will gradually become more widespread after midnight into early tomorrow morning. But I think there will still be enough breaks for you to view the June full strawberry moon. Now, you may have saw it last night. It wasn't officially full, but it definitely appeared full last night. It will be full tonight, and the moon will rise at 924, so you need to check outside after that point. Tomorrow, it'll appear full once again 10 17 and it's going to be low in the sky and it'll appear a little bit bigger and it may even have a little bit of an orangish tint out there so check that out the strawberry moon we'll see those increasing clouds overnight it will be mild temperatures dropping into the upper 50s and lower 60s and tomorrow will be the hottest day potentially could be the hottest day of the year so far the hottest we've gotten in tri-cities is 93 this could make it up to 98, 98 in Hermiston, 94 in Walla Walla, and 95 degrees in Yakima. How hot are we going to get, or how close to records, I should say, are we going to get tomorrow? Well, I think the records will remain on the safe side for the most part. Tri-Cities forecast 98, record to beat 106, so that'll remain safe. Yakima, 95, record to beat 102. Walla Walla, record to beat 103. Now, the only spot that'll get close to the record tomorrow will be Hermiston. We're forecasting 98, the record to beat 99, set back in 2005. So that'll be a close call. We'll be watching that closely. So tomorrow's the hottest day, and then our next cold front moves in on Sunday. That'll bring us more wind. It will also bring some drier air, dropping humidity levels. So the fire danger will be increasing on Sunday. Be alert, be aware of that, and avoid any outdoor burning. We cool down a little bit Monday before the 90s are back in action Tuesday, Wednesday. Yakima 92 today, 95 tomorrow. Windy on Sunday with that increasing fire danger. And for Walla Walla, we have temperatures in the 90s today and we'll likely see 90s continuing for Hermiston as well before we see that cool down by the end of the weekend and into early next week. Ladies, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. We have a consumer alert now to tell you about. Over half a million popular glass coffee mugs are being recalled after hot liquid caused some to break. 580,000 16 ounce Joy Jolt Declan Single Wall Glass mugs are being recalled. The mugs are sold as a set of six on Amazon and the company's website. They were sold from September 2019 through May 2022. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, there are more than 100 reports of breakage and nearly five dozen injuries. On Thursday, the glassware company Joy Jolt said the mugs broke at the base when exposed to hot liquids. However, the company did not explain why the glass mug would break. Customers can fill out a form on Joy Jolt's website to receive a full refund. 
Luxury car maker Bugatti has unveiled a new hybrid model car with a $4 million price tag. The Bugatti Tourbillon comes with a 16-cylinder gas engine and three powerful electric motors, one in the back and two more in the front. So in total, the Tourbillon, I don't know if I'm saying that right, <laughs> will be able to put out at least 1,800 horsepower. With a fully charged battery, the car will be able to go about 37 miles on just electric power. After that, the gas engine needs to turn on. The Torbillon, I also don't know how <laughs> this one is pronounced, is named after a set of gears on a mechanical watch. Huh, well, inside, the car's instrument display is modeled on mechanical watch dials, and Bugatti says only 250 Torbillons will be built. So you and know we'll be rushing out to get Yeah, to get we, we can dream, right? <laughs> and then the Fast and Furious music plays in the back, so it'd be perfect. There we go. A little pricey. <laughs> when we return on Good Morning Northwest, we have a special announcement and surprise for you. That's right. We'll introduce you to a new member that's joining our Good Morning Northwest team. Keep it here to find out who it is. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. My name is Lauren Martin. I started to work out at Hanford in 1982. And for 20 years, I worked with the fleet, uh, repairing cranes, locomotives, cars, ambulances, fire trucks, everything. In, after 20 years, then I came down with a disease. There are some very, very expensive drugs, and my copay on that is zero. All I have to do is pick up the phone, and it's there. So we'll definitely evaluate their past employment. As a registered nurse myself, I'll look through their medical records and I'll look to see maybe what medical conditions they have and we'll be very upfront with them, honest about whether they do have a claim that could warrant benefits or not and just kind of let them know what those next steps are, the timeline of how long it could take for them to get approved. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our 4th of July celebration and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock get-it-today inventory in our region. Upgrade your home with the Electrolux laundry set and save a whopping $1,300 on the pair. Plus, buy one pedestal and get the second free, an additional $270 in instant savings. This advanced laundry duo brings you unmatched efficiency and state-of-the-art features, ensuring your clothes come out perfect every time. Hey, hey, Tri-Cities, it's Eric the Peanut Guy with your Tri-City Dust Devils. I never thought I'd say this, but Friday, June 21st, the first 500 fans will receive Eric the Peanut Guy replica socks. Come rock your socks off. It's also family feast night with $2 hot dogs, soft drinks, and more, both thanks to Giza Credit Union. Saturday the 22nd, we'll have a post-game fireworks show thanks to Columbia Basin Hearing Center. Visit the official ticket site at DustDevilsBaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball, it will blow you away. It's the best time to visit more furniture. Join us for our July 4th truckload event. You'll find truckloads of our top tier product at factory direct prices, in stock and available for delivery. Right now, sleep like a rock star without breaking the bank. Get this glamorous silver panel bed for $5.95. Add the matching dresser, mirror, and nightstand for $19.95. Or get this plush upholstered panel bed in platinum, only $5.95. Include this dresser, mirror with touch light and nightstand, and it's still only $19.95. Hurry into your local showroom for the best selection. Hello there, watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We have some exciting news to share with you all. That's right. Today is an extra special day because we get to introduce you to our new chief meteorologist. Everyone give a warm Tri-Cities welcome to Josh Colbreth. Is that how you say your last name? Colbreth. Colbreth. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Right. Welcome And here. it's just us in here right now, so we're just clapping. <laughs> we're just going to clap for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're very happy to have you here. Uh, where were you previous to this? I was in Medford, Oregon, so southwestern Oregon, Hidden Gem. It's a Ooh. very beautiful market. You were a neighbor, okay. Yes, essentially neighbor to the south. All right, yeah. so some familiarity with the region? Yes. I'm familiar with the northwest, but I'm originally from diagonal across the country, from the southeast. I'm from Alabama. Oh, cool. Okay, yes. okay. So where did you go to school? The yeah, University okay. of South Alabama. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Now we can ask you some fun questions. What is your favorite food? Favorite food? I'd say mac and cheese. It is a side that deserves to be an entree. 
I they, agree with you on that one. Yeah, I had crab mac and cheese yesterday. Oh, that's, so that's really like good. Fresh or lobster on the mac mind. and cheese. Where did you go to get crab mac and cheese? What? Twigs. I don't Twigs? know if oh. they. I don't know okay. if they sponsor us or we sponsor them. But there's a plug. <laughs> they should if they don't. Yes. <laughs> well, Josh, what is your favorite kind of cloud? Since you're a weather <laughs> man. Favorite kind of cloud. <laughs> like a stratus or whatever uh, the clouds I, are. My favorite. This is this is an honest answer. So pyrocumulonimbus. It, Ooh, from that a, sounds like a Harry Potter thing. Yeah, it's not, okay. but okay. from a wildfire, if it's strong Ooh. enough and intense enough, it can produce a smoke plume that can end up turning into a cloud and it can produce its own weather. It can collapse, create its own downdraft, create its own lightning. So we may see some of those over here. We do get quite a few wildfires in yes, the area. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Huh. It's, it's one of the clouds I hope to not see, to not but see. if I do see it, from the meteorology point of view, I'll enjoy it. It's fascinating. Yes. What is your favorite thing about forecasting the weather? Um, it's numbers. I love numbers, I think, in terms of that. And so it just it makes sense to me in that regard. That's great, because yeah. we don't love numbers. So. <laughs> You'll be our numbers guy. <laughs> yeah. There we numbers. go. There That's we go. Kind there of, you go. Yeah. So what is your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Oh, I, don't, I don't watch a lot of TV. I'll tell you a TV show I'm watching right now. Welcome to Wrexham. It's, I've never um, heard of that. Have you heard of that? I haven't. Mm -hmm. Rob McElhinney from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia oh. and Ryan Reynolds. They bought a soccer club or a football club, as they would say, in England. They're trying to like revive it, get it promoted. So Very cool. another plug. Check that one out. <laughs> so what are you most excited to see in Tri-Cities? Um, it's you just saw it's, twigs already, <laughs> so maybe some more food? Other than the crab mac and cheese. <laughs> I would say uh, it's just such a different area from Southern Oregon. The, the geography of it's so different, the terrain so different. So just being in a, in a different state and kind of a different vibe, if you will. Hmm. And yeah. you're supposed to learn something new every day. So you've already taught me something new, a new type of cloud, apparently. So I'm excited to learn more from you, learn more about weather, things like that. And so um, what's your favorite type of weather? Favorite type of rainy? weather? Yeah, um, like a rainy day. <laughs> back home. There's the kind of rain that it would be like a, f a fire hose was turned on. <laughs> so well, we don't really get that kind of rain out I'm like, here. I've never seen no. any of these things. It sounds so cool, but <laughs> not much scary. Here. Yeah, it's the kind of rain you have to like pull over if you're driving. So, Interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you, Josh. Thank you for joining us. And we'll be seeing more of you and learning more about you because you are joining our Good Morning Northwest team. So we're very excited for that. Yeah, it's a big, big honor to be here. We're Absolutely. happy to have yeah. you. We are very happy to have you. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, it's officially summer. And if you're looking for activities to do, with your kids or grandkids, Yakima Valley Libraries has plenty. Our Emily Goodell tells you about it next. And the Tri-Cities Airport says they're expecting a record number of travelers this summer with what they recommend you do if you plan on traveling. Hey, good morning, America. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. You don't just see it, you feel it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, too. I'm in too. <laughs> now is a great time to get an offer you'll love on the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Get 3.9% APR plus 1,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 Cadillac Lyric when you finance through Cadillac Financial. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. And now a joke from Yolk's Fresh Market. What do you call chips that aren't yours? Nacho chips. <laughs> How do you measure the gift of time with your loved ones? How do you weigh the feeling of hope and the peace of mind not having to travel for the health care you deserve? At Good Shepherd, every decision we make is with our patients in mind. To bring you new, renowned doctors, the best technology to offer compassion. 
in your times of need, to serve our region, to be there for you. Thank you for trusting us with your care. Trust, trust, and more trucks at the Auto Lot. Check this out. 2017 F-150 XL TBA 4x4 for only $69.95. Wow, that's a deal. Or how about this 2023 GMC? Not like low, low, low miles. Only had 12,000 miles. Or how about this 2019 Sierra Elevation? Make your neighbors jealous with this beautiful Sierra 4x4. Now, this is a deal. 2012 F-350 Super Duty lifted 4x4 turbo diesel for only $21,995. And look at this 2013 Toyota Turner Crew Max platinum loaded from top to bottom 4x4 and more. Don't miss out. Visit us at AutoLotNW.com. Hey, hey, Tri-Cities, it's Eric the Peanut Guy with your Tri-City Dust Devils. I never thought I'd say this, but Friday, June 21st, the first 500 fans will receive Eric the Peanut Guy replica socks. Come rock your socks off. It's also family feast night with $2 hot dogs, soft drinks, and more, both thanks to Giza Credit Union. Saturday the 22nd, we'll have a post-game fireworks show thanks to Columbia Basin Hearing Center. Visit the official ticket site at DustDevilsBaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball, it will blow you away. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam. It all happens July 13th and 14th at John Dam Plaza. Right now in Good Morning Northwest, officials at the Tri-Cities Airport say they're expecting a record number of travelers this summer. What they recommend you do if you are traveling. Controversy erupts after Louisiana becomes the first state to require public schools to display the Ten Commandments. This after the governor signs it into law. And it's officially summer, which means you're probably looking for activities for you to do with your kids or your grandkids. We have a breakdown on what Yakima Valley Libraries has planned. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Delal. And I'm Jill Sperling. It is Friday, June 21st. We're finally to Friday. It's been it's been a month this week. It's, it's been a not month like a week. month long. That, yeah. <laughs> so we're happy it's Friday. The temperatures are gonna be looking a little too hot, so maybe not too happy about that. I'm okay with it. You gotta just I take the right precautions. Yeah, maybe exactly. Maybe do some indoor activities. Get your outdoor stuff done early in the day. That's, That's right. what our meteorologist Tiffany Savona always um, recommends. So we'll check in with her now to see what we're going to be seeing later today. Hey, Tiffany. Good morning, ladies. Yes, that's great advice. Take the kids to the park early. Take the kids to the splash pad early as well, and then find something indoors for them to do during the middle of the day when you can be indoors enjoying the AC. It's a beautiful start to the morning out of our Legends Casino Hotel Skycam in Richland. The water looks pretty calm this morning. Winds are light out of the north. Our temperatures are still in the 50s out there, but we'll be jumping into the 60s over the next Next hour or so. We're at 53 in Tri Cities, 58 Walla Walla, 55 in Toppenish, and 54 degrees in Prosser, 51 in Yakima. So today, temperatures will be rising to like 87 around lunchtime, and then we're looking at highs in the middle 90s, well below the record highs, but still about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. And we have a big event going on, Cool Desert Night. That'll start at 6 o'clock. At least the cruise starts at 6 o'clock. Live music from 7 to 9. Make sure you bring the sunglasses. It's going to be hot. Temperatures in the 90s dropping into the lower 80s as the event starts to wrap up. And this event continues tomorrow as well. We'll have tomorrow's forecast. And we'll also let you know when the fire danger will be increasing across the Columbia Basin. That's all coming up in a little bit. Ladies, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. It is officially summer, which means many people will be heading out on vacations, flying in and out of the Tri-Cities Airport. Avello Airlines plans to expand flight options to the Hollywood Burbank Airport down in Southern California. Right now, the airline only flies there twice a week, but come September, you'll have four different days to choose from. Airport officials say they are expecting a record amount of travelers this summer. Often, a large number of travelers has an impact on parking at the airport and the parking lot's getting fuller. But we do expect record number of travelers this summer. We're already 8% over last year, which was our busiest year ever. So, um, you know, get here early, make ample time to park. Um, I still recommend the credit card lot. Um, as our, as our long-term lot fills up, that credit card lot's gonna um, be a little bit quicker and easier. The airport will eventually be adding more parking spaces and the goal is to have those extra spaces available by November just in time for the holidays. Future plans for a freestanding parking garage continue. 
In political news this morning, the presidential election is less than five months away. Former President Donald Trump has outraised President Joe Biden for the second month in a row. Yesterday, the Biden campaign and the Democratic Party said it raised more than $85 million in May. That amount trailed former President Donald Trump and the Republican National Committee, who raised $141 million. Last month, Trump's campaign received a $50 million infusion from the billionaire heir to a banking fortune. But yesterday's filings also show legal expenses continue to drain Trump's campaign support. More than $3.6 million went towards legal expenses in May. All public schools in Louisiana will now be the first in the country to display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. Republican Governor Jeff Landry signed the bill into law on Wednesday. The requirement will impact all schools receiving state funding from kindergarten through university. The poster must be at least 11 by 14 inches. The text of the commandments must be the central focus of the poster in large, easily readable font. Many civil liberties groups announced plans to sue Louisiana in response to the law. They argue it violates the First Amendment's freedom of religion. Governor Landry called the bill, quote, one of his favorites before signing it. Many kids are out for summer vacation, and if you're a parent, you might be looking for things to do with them outside of the house. And the library is a good first stop for activities and free resources. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us Yakima Valley Libraries also has a whole spread of events and programs for kids and adults throughout the summer. When you think of Yakima Valley Libraries, you might picture their main location downtown. However, there's actually 16 locations spread across Yakima County, including one that was newly renovated here in Terrace Heights. It's not just drop-in crafts and story time this summer, but a whole new set of adventures. The entire family is invited to participate in some fun library-related um, and reading challenges. With categories and prizes for babies, children, teens, and adults. Plus, a balloon lab, story walk at the Arboretum, kid-friendly comedy shows, and the great friends and family puzzle race. This Saturday, there will be a free admission day at Yakima Valley Museum. They have graciously partnered with us from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And to make memories far beyond this summer, a time capsule celebrating 80 years of library service in the Yakima Valley. Each library location is putting together a time capsule, um, writing letters to the future. You can um, drop off a memento that's smaller than a cell phone size to include in the time capsule and we'll open it sometime in the future. Plus, there's science demonstrations, a mobile planetarium, virtual reality adventures, and Australian animal encounters. A lot of hard work has been put into this, um, so I think our hearts have been poured out and we hope that um, the love is felt from the community in, in Yakima County. The library can also be a great place to find ideas for things to do with your family that don't require a lot of money in the bank. We'll have more about those resources on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. In Terrace Heights, I'm Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. And coming up this weekend, the Three Rivers Convention Center in Kennewick is celebrating its 20th anniversary. To mark the occasion, there will be an open house on Saturday between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The Three Rivers Convention Center plans to have vendors on site from past shows and conventions. There will also be activities for kids and refreshments. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, the 30th annual Cool Desert Nights starts tonight. This is the event that celebrates classic cars, music, and family fun. Riley Fitzgerald talked to an organizer and she joins us next to tell us everything we need to know. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful customer arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. 
visit us at our new urban wine bar in historic downtown Kennewick. Choose from a variety of wines and food from our expanded menu. Enjoy time with friends old and new. After hours with riverfront views from our shaded patio, we are Murray Gaston Wine Bar. Save now with Hot Buys in Buy Mart's latest savings book, including buy two Pepsi or 7-Up brand 12-packs and get two free. Buy Mart, your employee-owned membership store. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain. So you can go all out. Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for $339 a month for 36 months. Or purchase with $3.9 for 36 and get $2,000 wild bonus cash. All summer long, turn to Apple Valley News Now for the best sports from ABC. Summer sports on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at ProsserHealth.org. Prosser Memorial Health. This is how we care. Meet Apple Valley News Now viewer Ann Carlson of Hermiston. We've really enjoyed your station. Apple Valley News Now has been able to cover some of the Hermiston events. Not a lot of spin on the news and good weather reporting. Apple Valley News Now, always on your side. Don't walk, run, as Live with Kelly and Mark are Emmy winners for Best Daytime Talk Series host. Next Live, John Stamos plus Heidi Gardner. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. The 30th annual Cool Desert Nights hits the roadways tonight, celebrating classic cars, music, and family fun. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio this morning. Riley, you talked with an organizer, so what can you tell us about this event? Well, good morning, you two. After a popular request, Cool Desert Nights is back in the Richland Uptown after a brief stint at the Red Mountain Event Center in West Richland. The event starts tonight. Hosted by the newly revived Richland Chamber of Commerce in partnership with the Richland Parks and Rec Department, the event is back on. And while this event is back to the original Cool Desert Nights format, David Rose with the Richland Chamber of Commerce says next year there is going to be an issue for where to host the event once again due to construction coming to George Washington Way. Working with Rich City of Richland, of course, next year, George Washington Way will be tore up and making it a one-way traffic and along with Jadwin. And so we're starting to plan what we're going to do next year. It, it might not be here again because of that. Uh, uh, the crews won't be here anyway. Always set for the fourth weekend of June, Rose says he told the city to expect around 10 to 12,000 people and close to 500 participating cars. And if you're planning on being at the event today and tomorrow, Rose says to be prepared for the heat. Temps are in the mid to upper 90s for our highs with lots of sunshine in Richland. And Rose says while it's usually hot, that doesn't usually deter the big fans of cool desert nights. The heat, even though it's going to be hot, doesn't seem to be a bother to them. I mean, they, we all live in the Tri-Cities. We know it gets hot. And uh, so, you know, just be, per be prepared for that. So the vehicle registration happens from noon through this evening for participating cars. The car cruise uh, starts at 6 o'clock tonight on George Washington Way. And then the party in the park at John Dan Plaza starts right after at 7 o'clock. On our website, you can find the full list of events for today and tomorrow. I will send it back to you two. Thank you, Riley. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, if you have weekend plans like going to cool desert nights, you'll want to know how the weather is going to be. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have the answers to your questions when we come back. Since 1968, Sundown M Ranch has helped over 200,000 patients and families recover from the effects of substance use disorders. I was ashamed, humiliated, and not sure if I could be helped, but I listened and found a completely different way to live by spending time at Sundown. I did not believe there was a way out of the dark hole my life had become. Sundown M Ranch 
provided a foundation for me to find a new way to live. Sundown M Ranch, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Bye, Mom. Soccer is my life. I've been playing for as long as I can remember. Scoring goals, hanging with my friends, the travels, it's really fun. Before hitting the field, there's this tradition I had, grabbing snacks, pregame feel, you know? Whether it's gearing up for an away game or it's a quick stop, my Hapo debit card is always with me. Just like my teammates trust me on the field, my mom trusts me to make smart choices off the field. Where do you, Credit Union? Let Quantum Legal protect you and be your champion on the legal battleground. Whether it's a fight for justice in the face of criminal accusations, personal injury claims, or workplace accidents, Quantum Legal is your unwavering ally. An aggressive offense is your greatest defense. Quantum Legal is the sword and shield you've been seeking. Your best defense, Quantum Legal. The 4th of July sale is on now at More Furniture. You're invited to beat the crowds and take advantage of the huge savings available for every room in your home. Get ready to celebrate summer entertaining, family gatherings, and much more, all at our lowest prices. Visit your local showroom to work directly with a furniture expert and create the look you want. Or pre-shop all sales specials online at morefurniture.com. Now is a great time to get an offer you'll love on the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens. They're lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is. Accept my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Sorry. You've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Windermere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now, First okay. Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Do you all remember last weekend when it was unseasonably cool? You needed the jacket all weekend long. Temperatures topped out in the 60s and 70s. Well, we have a much different weekend on tap. At least the weather will be much different with highs in the 90s tomorrow and then 80s on Sunday. So a big difference. Last weekend, the last weekend of spring and this weekend, of course, the first official weekend of the summer season and it's going to feel like it. Temperatures are in the 50s right now. Feels pretty nice. So if you need to walk the dog, if you want to get that workout in outdoors, now is the time to do it. It's 58 in Walla Walla, 53 in the Tri-Cities, 57 in Pendleton, 56 in Toppenish and 51 degrees in Yakima. So today, high pressure building in from the west. That's going to result in widespread 90s across the region. Tomorrow will be the hottest day with that area of high pressure directly overhead of eastern Washington. And then we track our next system, which is going to bring a cold front in on Sunday. You can see that dip in the jet stream. That means it won't be quite as hot. The wind will be picking up and that's going to increase our fire danger area wide as we take it into Sunday. More on that in just a second. Today, mostly sunny, hot, similar to how it felt like yesterday in Tri-Cities and Hermiston. Highs around 94, both of those cities. 92 in Walla Walla, a little bit warmer there. 92 in Toppenish and 92 degrees in Yakima. Did you see the almost full moon last night? You probably did, and if you did, it was beautiful. Well, tonight it'll be exactly full, even though it appeared full last night. The moon will rise around 9.24, and room, the moon will rise tomorrow at 10.17. So I think the weather will cooperate where you should be able to see it both nights. Now, clouds will be moving in tonight, but they're gonna be those mid and high level clouds, so I think there will be enough breaks before they really start to thicken up. So good luck viewing the moon tonight. 58 in Tri-Cities by tomorrow morning, 58 in Hermiston, 58 in Yakima, and 61 in Prosser. So another mild night. 
We'll set the stage for an even hotter day tomorrow. Look at these numbers. 98 in Tri-Cities and Hermiston, 94 in Walla Walla, 95 in Yakima. We are going to be more than 10 degrees above the average, but the records are in the triple digits, the exception in Hermiston. So if anyone gets close to the record, it will be Hermiston and portions of Northeast Oregon. Sunday, 88, not as hot. We'll drop those temperatures a good 10 degrees, but it will be windy. Look at those winds. Southwest 15 to 25, gusting up to 40, maybe even 45 miles per hour. And with that drier air moving in behind the front, our fire danger will be increasing on Sunday. You need to avoid any outdoor burning. Be alert, especially if you're driving around. Use caution with any power equipment, anything that could spark and anything that you're trailing uh, behind you. Make sure all the wires are up off the ground and discard those cigarettes properly. Don't mindlessly just throw it out the window. Tri-City showing that once we get to Sunday, we drop those temperatures. Monday, the coolest day at 86, and then we see those 90s reappear Tuesday. Wednesday. Yakima 92 today, 95 tomorrow, 84 and windy Sunday with that increasing fire danger. And then we'll see another warm up Tuesday, Wednesday before another cool down arrives. Walla Walla 90s today and tomorrow. And then we cool it down a little bit Sunday and Monday. Then we're back up to 90 Tuesday, Wednesday. So the roller coaster ride of temperatures continues. 94 today in Hermiston, 98 tomorrow, close to that record in Hermiston and 99. Windy Sunday with that increasing fire danger. And then the 90s return Tuesday and Wednesday. Jessica and Joe, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. Well, we have just had the first sunrise of summer, but it happened even earlier in the UK where spectators gathered at the ancient stone circle of Stonehenge to take it in. Check it out. So here's a sunrise over Stonehenge after the shortest night of the year. Stonehenge was built in southern England starting around 5,000 years ago. Its purpose is still a bit of a mystery, though the stone circle aligns with the summer solstice sunrise and winter solstice sunset. This phenomenon brings out crowds of people to experience these events each year. It's so beautiful. It really is. And as Tiffany has been telling us, there's another reason to look to the sky. The summer solstice has brought us a full strawberry moon. It will be at its fullest tonight with the best time to view it just before dusk. The strawberry moon appears low in the sky and stays close to the horizon and it appears gold in color. Unfortunately, it does not look like a strawberry. No. <laughs> and the best way to see it again tonight is to find a location where you can get a low view of the eastern horizon. So I caught a glimpse of it earlier. You did. This evening. Was it well, big? Before I came into work and it was large and it was very and it golden and I thought I, <laughs> yeah that's what I always thought the strawberry moon it should be pink but no yeah. it's a little bit golden well, I need to check it out hopefully yeah. I can see a little Catch bit of it tonight I know yeah tonight yes <laughs> well don't go anywhere we'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast but first a look at what's ahead on good morning America in this morning's GMA first look a vacation tragedy I feel that this could have been prevented if things would have just been done from the very beginning. Texas couple Lisette Sombrano and husband George Guillen didn't know that these photos would be their last together. Liz speaking exclusively to ABC News about what happened last week at the Sonoran Sea Resort in Mexico, where she and her husband were both electrocuted in a hot tub near the pool, seriously injuring her and taking George's life. What was going through your mind when it first started? It's weird because uh, I'm aware the whole time, like I'm, it's the shocks are going on and my mind is still going, just thinking he's going through the same thing and he wasn't. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have much more of our interview and what you need to know if you think you're being shocked while in the water. With your GMA First Look, I'm Matt Rivers, ABC News, El Paso. The darkness of bipolar depression made me feel like I was losing interest in the things I love. Then I found a chance to let in the light. Discover Capilita. Unlike some medicines that only treat bipolar 1, Capilita is proven to deliver significant symptom relief from both bipolar 1 and 2 depression. And in clinical trials, movement disorders and weight gain were not common. Capilita can cause serious side effects. Call your doctor about sudden mood changes, behaviors, or suicidal thoughts right away. Antidepressants may increase these risks in young adults. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Capilita is not approved for dementia-related psychosis. Report fever, confusion, or stiff muscles, which may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. Common side effects include sleepiness, dizziness, nausea, and dry mouth. These aren't all the side effects. In the darkness of bipolar 1 and 2 depression, Capilita can 
help you let in the light. Ask your doctor about Capleta. Find savings and support at Capleta.com. Now, the morning sprint. Welcome back. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. We begin with a crash that closed the Blue Bridge to northbound traffic for hours overnight. Washington State Patrol is investigating the crash, which happened shortly after 9 p.m. Officials say a car struck a semi. The driver of the car, a 25-year-old man from Pasco, was not hurt, but two children in the car, aged 4 and 6 years old, were taken to the hospital. The driver of the semi was not hurt. The roadway has since been reopened. WSP says they believe drugs or alcohol were involved in the crash and charges are pending for the driver of the car. Developing news of a fire investigation, Yakima Fire responded to a call for help from the Yakima Greenway. It was around 1.30 yesterday afternoon. It's not clear how the fire started, but firefighters say it is suspicious. The flames came close to the brand new visitor center at Sarge Hubbard Park, which opened last fall. Nearly two months after a fire broke out at the Lineage Cold Storage Warehouse in Finley, the company says that fire is fully extinguished. The company sent Apple Valley News Now a statement saying, quote, as a result of the significant progress in debris removal made and continuous firefighting in collaboration with the Benton County Fire District, our teams on the ground were able to access the remaining hot spots and put out the fire, end quote. Lineage says cleanup efforts are expected to continue for several more weeks. Even though the fire is out, you might still need to replace your air filters since they've been working overtime to deal with smoke up until now. The Ben Franklin Health District will be giving out new air filters and N95 masks to people impacted by the Lineage Warehouse fire. That giveaway is happening this evening from 6 to 8 at Riverview High School. Starting today, the Department of Natural Resources is banning dispersed campfires on state lands in the southeast region. Campfires will still be allowed in approved designated campgrounds, but not out in the wilderness. DNR officials say upcoming hot, dry summer weather is increasing fire danger at a time when multiple wildfires are actively burning in the region. The region covers 16 counties, including Benton, Franklin, Walla Walla, Kittitas and Yakima counties. That's officially summer, which means many people will be heading out on vacations, flying in and out of the Tri-Cities Airport. Abello Airlines plans to expand flight options to the Hollywood Burbank Airport down in Southern California. Right now, the airline only flies there twice a week, but come September, you'll have four different days to choose from. And the airport will eventually be adding more parking spaces, and the goal is to have those extra parking spaces available by November, just in time for the holidays. Work has begun for a new fire station in Walla Walla. Walla Walla County Fire District 8 posted this photo to Facebook saying ground site preparations are underway for Station 82. They're still waiting for final approval from the County Planning Department for the building permit. The district has been in a leased building on the east end of Walla Walla for years while it plans and budgeted for the new station. It will be located at 211 Mill Creek Road. Over in Afreda, a lo local leaders held a groundbreaking ceremony for the new Grant County Jail. The project budget is $155.5 million. Construction is expected to take two years. And we'll check in now with Tiffany for a final look at your first alert forecast this morning. Hey, Tiffany. Good morning. We're looking at a hot weekend ahead. It feels pretty nice out there now, so take advantage of it if you need to be outdoors. 58 in Walla Walla, 53 Tri-Cities, 56 in Prosser, Hanford, Toppenish, 51 degrees in Yakima. But at the top of the hour, we will probably be well into the 60s. 94 degrees, that's your high this afternoon, similar to how it felt yesterday. If you're going to Richland this evening for cool desert nights, we have the cruise starting at 6 and then live music 7 to 9. It's going to be hot. Make sure you bring the sunglasses with temperatures starting off in the 90s, ending in the lower 80s as the event is wrapping up. And cool desert nights continues tomorrow as well from 9 to 4. We have that pancake breakfast in the morning, temperatures in the 70s and 80s. 80s in the morning hours and then we're well into the 90s we're talking about upper 90s so be sure you stay hydrated keep the kids hydrated if you're going to that event and wear plenty of sunscreen as we take into sunday we are a little bit cooler not quite as hot not 88 isn't really
really cool. But the wind will be kicking up and that's going to increase the fire danger on Sunday. So make sure you are alert, especially if you're driving around. We will see a brief cool down Monday back down to near average. And then those 90s are back Tuesday, Wednesday. 92 in Yakima today, 95 tomorrow. And then we're back down in the middle 80s with increasing fire danger Sunday. Walla Walla 90s today and tomorrow. And then we're back down into the 80s there. 94 today in Hermiston, 98 tomorrow. Tomorrow will be close to that record high of 99 in Hermiston. All the other records will likely remain safe. And then we're increasing that fire danger on Sunday. Ladies. Thank you, Tiffany. Thanks for watching. Good morning, Northwest.